Welcome back, everybody. It's Tuesday. I'm Chad. And I'm Ben. We're here with the Tuesday tip of the week. Metro Detroit golfers, we're going to get right at it. Putting is what we've been talking about the last couple of weeks. We talked about using the quarter to smooth out the stroke. And then we tried to get you to focus your attention on the ball going into the hole at different speeds. Today, we get to do a different activity that's going to help you learn to make adjustments and find out what works best for you. What are you going to do, man? What are we going to do? It's Tuesday. So today, we're going with Goldilocks. So what we're going to do is we're going to make errors on purpose. Wait, what? Again. Why does this happen? <laughs> <laughs> you keep going there. The more we make errors, the more we learn. So we're going to continue to go down that path, and we're also going to continue to swing the putter head freely. So that's another lesson that never goes away. So we're going to make errors on purpose, and we're still going to swing the weight freely. No guiding. No hitting. No steering, none of that stuff, Goodness right? Gracious, keep your head down, <laughs> please. All right, so free swinging motion and you errors, we're going to use them, yes? And they use the word Goldilocks. Why, why Goldilocks? Why do you call it Goldilocks? So what we're going to do in this activity today is we're going to intentionally hit putts too far past the hole. We're going to intentionally hit putts short of the hole, and then we're going to try to roll them at the correct speed. So essentially, you're going to feel too long and fast, too short and slow, and then you're going to feel just right in order to gain control of your speed on the green. Very good. So uh, last week we were very close to the hole. Uh, this week we're going to move out to 20 feet, 30 feet, 40 feet. So we're going to start to stretch because we want to help you avoid three putting and uh, ultimately, uh, you know, take the stress off those par savers where you can get up there and tap it in. Goldilocks is how we're going to do that. So you said you're going to hit the first one. Yes. Too far. I'm going to hit it too far. All right. And there it goes. Okay. So that's what too far feels like. Is that fair to say? <laughs> yeah, I didn't want to go that far, but it's past the hole. Got it. That was the name of the game. All right, so now Goldie likes, like the story says, you know, the chair was too big, the chair was too small. This one's going to be too short, yeah? Yep. All right, that's what too short feels like. I'm going to give you some room here. So now, in your mind, go with what you feel like is just right. Uh, we can see that the speed in that fit cast, or in that case, was in fact just right. It's true. It actually works. It's amazing. <laughs> Let's move back. Go back a little bit. Yeah. So a lot of you, when you go up to the putting green, there's too much time spent on trying to be perfect and trying to make all the putts. Uh, we don't want you to do that. We want you to start playing around with this so you can get a better understanding of the speed. Uh, are the greens fast that day? Slow? Last week, you talked about the difference between the intention versus the reality. You got it. How could we apply that here today? Uh, same thing here. So let's say I'm trying to hit the ball past the hole and it ends up rolling at the same speed. Well, the drill just gave me the feel that I needed in order to control the speed the best. So don't be alarmed if you know, you're know you trying to go short or you're trying to go long and the ball just happens to be rolling at the speed that you're looking to roll it at. That's okay. Just understand that there's always going to be a disconnect between intention versus reality. All right, so on this one, we're going to try to go too far, yes? Too far on the first one. You got it. All right, that's what too far feels like. Show us what Here's too, too short. short. And then in your mind, something that you feel like is just right. Oh simmer uh, maybe a little bit fast but not bad okay so a little bit fast so if you had a fourth ball and then we're interacting with goldilocks the way we are what adjustment would you make to actually get the ball closer to the hole i would either a visualize the ball rolling at a slower speed or short my stroke or slow down the rhythm those are the three uh one of the three tools that i would use what would you do now if you wanted to make this one go i'm just going to picture it rolling a little bit slower that's all okay There we go. It's perfect. Come on, baby. Break. Oh, oh. that was like a trickle. That was perfect. <laughs> okay, so now we're going to actually show you how to incorporate this into the game. So one of the things that we like to do with uh, our students is we teach them how to use Goldilocks while they play. So how you can use this on the course is I'm going to take some practice strokes that feel too long. So this feels long to me. Then I'm going to feel too short. I'm not going to feel just right. And now I'm going to walk right into the golf ball and put the just right swing on this golf ball. Did you do it? You did it. Oh, so, so close. close. <laughs> not bad. 
So ultimately, like the pre-shot routine is what you're talking about. Yep. So you can take what you've been training using Goldilocks and then implement into a pre-shot routine. And that's how you can help control your speed when you're out there playing. You got it. Very good. It's magical. Okay, so interacting with the ball and the target yep. is the name of the game. Yes? Yes, sir. Goldilocks is how you could do that. A lot of you out there, you know, you go take a golf lesson, there's way too much energy spent on the swing and not close to enough spent interacting with the target. So this week's Tuesday Tip of the Week. Use Goldilocks to help your speed control and you're going to learn to interact with it. Try to make it go too far, too short, just right. Yep. It also works for direction. You could do left of the hole, right of the hole, at the hole. We did that uh, driving a couple weeks back. So, uh, so having said that, keep up your training. If you have any questions or comments, post them below. And we thank you for joining us on the Tuesday Tip of the Week. Get in the